at no time in the match did I, did I feel I was going to lose the match. You know, the Gremlins weren't that bad. But, you know, it would have been so nice to have won the match 10-1 and, and to have just, you know, quietly and professionally gone about my business. But to be fair to Gerard, he didn't let me do that. And uh, apart from a couple of half chances and, and getting to him needing snookers, not really through my own good play, I didn't feel I had a clear-cut chance to win the match until the last frame. I thought that was the first time the balls went, right, here we are, pot us, and win. And I did. How did you feel about that frame when it seemed to be over, he needed the snooker? Was that particularly irritating? Well, it's just one of those frames where, as you know, it would have been nice to have been back in the dressing room having a coffee, but that wasn't the way the balls went. And it's kind of, if you don't finish the frame off and really put them under it, particularly where the black was, it was in a great position, it was. It seemed only a matter of time before he he got me in good in good in a good snooker. Does it give you a lot of uh, satisfaction though to have polished off the match in the end quite ruthlessly, given that it, things hadn't gone your way throughout the afternoon? He re reeled off five in a row. Is that is that kind of reassuring that you can come out when you've got the opportunity and nail it? Because you could have been really feeling under the cosh at nine seven, given that he's been coming back all afternoon. Mm. Don't forget, I won eight frames on the bounce last night. So he's, he's felt the same thing as well. I never started to question my own ability. I practiced very hard since I was eight years old. And I know that in my, my game, I can rely on it when it matters. As I say, I didn't feel I had a great chance until the last frame. And you know, when, I, when, when I was asked the question, I stepped up and did it. How do you feel about your game in general coming into this championship? I feel it's the best prepared I've ever been for this championship. You know, I've not had the greatest of seasons results-wise. I don't think I've reaped the rewards for the, for the effort I've put in. And you know, I am due. And the match-up against Sting is, is a mouth-watering prospect. Both of you playing well. You've got a great pedigree here, of course. Sting hasn't, but he's, he's certainly proved it elsewhere. Are you excited about that prospect? I'm very excited. I think Ding's, you know, he, he is the best player in the world at the moment. I think his record proves that. I think he's the, you know, the best player this season. He's, uh, he's featured highly in all the major events. And I think he'll be going into our match as favourite. But that doesn't trouble you? I beat favourites before. Sean, have you done anything different with your preparation this year? You say it's the best it's been. Been any tweaks to your usual preparation or? Not really. I just feel that I've got the most out of myself and my time. You know, I've really got really well prepared, and I've worked on all aspects of my game. I've I've, I've practiced with a lot of other players, and I've spent a lot more time on my own, working on real specific parts. And you know, it's it's the it's the most ready that I've felt coming to Sheffield. Sort of got a sound of almost a semi or a final, wasn't it? I mean, is that what, how you feel about it a bit as well? I think it's um, it could be classed as maybe the match of the round. I don't know. I've not looked at the other draw, at the other draws, but um, it would be a fantastic match, whatever happens. Um, as I say, Ding's playing some of the best snooker around in the world at the moment, and you know the Chinese back home will be watching him. He's got a whole country behind him, millions and millions of people wishing him on. You know, I used to live in Sheffield. I've got you know a few hundred thousand wishing me on. He'll have he'll have like one and a half million billion. He doesn't sound like he's based in Sheffield. But um, no, I think um, you're bound to get the local support wherever you live. You know, he lives just down the road, and and rightly so, he should get the support. You've got quite a good record against him, haven't you? I don't know what the up to date record is. To be honest, I don't know. I don't I really don't know. Yeah, we, our matches in the past have always been ex you know good standard. Um, and I expect nothing else. Do you think you were as highly focused going out uh, at 8 1 uh, as you would have been if you'd been 5 4? Um, th there was certainly a, a, a change in the adrenaline levels going out at 8 1 because, really, from 8 1, all you can really do is lose. You know, you're expected to go out and win 10 1, really, and anything other than that, you're going to get asked the questions, you know, were you, were you up for it and were you not? Um, I didn't do anything differently. To prepare for the match, had I had it have been five four, or had I have been eight one down, you know, I, I did my work as I would normally have done. Got prepared in the same way, did the same practice before I went out, and, and went out feeling good. Just Gerard obviously felt quite good himself, and and didn't really want to let me play. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a studier of ranking lists and points. Um, it's not something I'm as fastidious about as I used to be in my younger days. I'm more interested in you know getting tournament wins under my belt and and, and trophies on my piano as it is now um, you know Brandon and I you know we've kind of had conversations where we think you know with the standard as it is if you, you win a tournament a season you know that's pretty good going and I've achieved that this year. Should take on Barry Hill coming in and his plans? 
I'm a hundred percent behind Barry Hearn. I think what 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 I from what I understand of, of the changes that are that are happening, I'm a one hundred percent supporter. You just want to play more tournaments, don't you? Someone said to me the other day, they said, uh, you wouldn't like to see the snooker like the darts, would you? I said, what, more tournaments and more prize money to play for? I mean, that's just, you know, that, that's what we've been asking for for years, is to have more events, more opportunities to play. And that's what he brings. Peter Oakton said last night that his big concern, he likes, obviously, the idea of more tournaments, more prize money, but his real sticking point is the fact that Hearn wants control, effective control of the company. Mm. Quote, unquote, 51%. And he said that, is just a massive no-no. Mm. Take a big p commission, but don't don't surrender the company. How, do you think that's in any way a valid argument? Well, snooker has been running the same way for thirty years. They've done nothing with it. It's been running the same way, and it's failed. I think Barry Hearn's made a success of the businesses that he's been involved in, and if he can make the game and the players who participate in it wealthy professionals, here. here.